Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po again si Pastor Eddie Centeno ng Family Gathering uh, Church dito po sa may Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, greeting you a happy Friday. So we can study the Word of God again and uh, we pray that uh, we're gonna have a good connection and that uh, we will be blessed by the Word of God. And it's I think it's just uh, a natural thing that when we study the Word, uh, we are blessed by it kasi sabi ng God uh, uh, He will cause His word to prosper doon sa mga pagdadala niya ng kanyang mga salita so good evening guys good evening uh, Jacksonville uh, good evening uh, Philippines Australia Saudi Arabia Kuwait and, and uh, other parts of the world so again uh, welcoming you on a nice Friday evening at least here in Jacksonville uh, Florida. So, we're gonna, the title of our uh, short uh, lesson tonight is God Rewards Faithfulness. May gantimpala mula sa Diyos ang pagiging matapat. Ano po? So, the Bible tells us that and we're gonna go into that. So, again, welcome welcome po. Uh, let's go to prayer. Uh, and I ask God's blessing to be upon our study this uh, evening. Lord, we come to you and ask your blessing uh, be upon our Bible study tonight. We pray for your Holy Spirit to, to give us clarity, to give us understanding, Lord, and to touch our lives, God, by the power of your Holy Word, God. So help me as I teach and bless everyone, God. Give them an open heart, uh, uh, a healthy soil, that uh, your word, God, will grow and multiply and have fruits, Lord. And uh, and we pray, Lord, that um, your name will be exalted and be honored, God, in our Bible study tonight. So we thank you, God. We love you. We commit this thing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So God rewards faithfulness. Ano po, ang Diyos ay nagkakaroon, nagbibigay ng kaloob o ng kantimpala doon sa mga matatapat sa Kanya. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Ito po ang sabi sa Hebrews 11 verse 6. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Ano po? Uh, imposibleng malugod ang Diyos kung walang pananampalataya. Anyone who wants, tingnan po ninyo, no? anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. Ano po? Na sino man ang lumalapit sa Kanya ay kinakailangan maniwala na siya ay uh, na siya ay Diyos at siya po ay nagkakaloob ng mga reward o ng mga gantimpala doon sa mga matapat at masugid na naghahanap sa Kanya. I like that word in the English word, yung pong tinatawag na sincerely, consistently seeking Him. So, we know that God is a rewarder and rewards are good. Ano po? Maganda po yung rewards. Maganda po yung mga uh, nakaka-gain ka ng points. Ano, like here uh, in in Jacksonville where we live, ano po, meron po kaming uh, tindahan na pinupuntahan na they have uh, an incentive na as you go and purchase groceries sa kanila, you you accumulate points na cash. Ano po, and then uh, later on, uh, later on, uh, Habang dumadami po yung rewards mo, yung points, you can use that cash to purchase uh, groceries or any item dun sa tindahan using the reward money. So maganda po yung pakiramdam na naglabas ka ng mga items o mga groceries na hindi ka nagbayad. Actually, yung ibinayad dun ay yung reward na na-accumulate mo through, that, through, uh, through time ng pamimili. So, tonight uh, we will study this. Ano po, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a guy uh, the, that we're going to study that his name was only mentioned twice in the Bible and yet God rewarded him a very big reward. Ano po. So, I want to take you, gusto ko pong daling kayo dun sa may Acts chapter, 20, ch chapter 1. Sa mga gawa po, mga gawa, uh, Chapter 1, beginning at 21 to 26. Ito po yung istorya ng uh, yung po mga disciples. Jesus Christ has been taken into heaven ano po, after na 40 days na nagpakita siya. And then he was taken in the Mount of Olives. He was taken 
uh, umakyat po siya at sabi ng mga, sabi ng mga anghel na the same Jesus who was taken to you in this manner, he will come back at the same the same manner. And then the disciples went to uh, to Jerusalem, dun po sa upper room. Ano po, ito po yung upper room na yung siguro pangalaw, ikaw, pangalawang palapag uh, na gusali, na bahay. And this is where they're waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit na we can see in Acts chapter 2. So they were gathered there, 120 of them. And this is a very exciting prayer meeting. Can you imagine? 120 disciples were gathering in one place. Uh, the 11 disciples were there because Judas has just, Judas already killed himself and he died. So the 11, 11 disciples were there in the upper room. Kasama nila si, Mad, uh, si Mary, the mother of Jesus, at saka yung mga kapatid ni Jesus na mga lalaki. His brothers. So you can just imagine, if I, I told you one time, uh, when you read the Bible, you have to use sometimes most of, sometimes you use your imagination so you can figure out and picture what is going on. This is a very uh, exciting prayer meeting because, like I said, the people who were there, ano po, yung, mga yung mga apostles and then Mary and then yung mga kapatid ni Jesus. So, pumipili po sila ng, uh, ng pa ipapalit nila kay Judas Iscariot. Ano po, uh, dalawa yung Judas sa disciple, isa si Judas, uh, the son of John, at yung si Judas Iscariot, yung nagkanulo sa kanya who betrayed him. So they were discussing and Peter was leading the discussion, si Peter. So naghahanap po sila at nananalangin sila at hinihingi nila sa Panginoon kung sino ang ipapalit nila kay Judas Iscariot. Ano po? So bas, uh, basahin po natin sa may Acts chapter 1, 21 to 26. Ito po ang sabi doon. So now we must choose, this is Peter talking, ano po si Pedro. So, so now we must choose a replacement for Judas from among the men who were with us the entire time we were traveling with the Lord Jesus. Gusto ko pong uh, i-emphasis yung salita doon, ano, verse 21, and this is very exciting, ano po, sabi po we, uh, we must choose a replacement for Judas from among the men who were with us the whole time or the entire time we were traveling with the Lord Jesus. So, sabi po ni Peter, pipili tayo ng kapalit ni Judas na nakasakasama na natin ng simula pa lang. Tingnan po ninyo yung commitment doon, ano, yung consistent doon, ano po yung yung kasama na nila sa simula pa lang. Sabi po gano'n na from the time verse 22, from the time Jesus was baptized by John until the day he was taken from us, yung po yung ascension. Ano po? Whoever is chosen will join us as a witness of Jesus's resurrection. So ang sabi po ni Peter pipili tayo nung, na, ng, doon sa mga kasama na natin ng simula pa lang, magkusimula doon sa water baptism ni John na si Jesus ay binaptize hanggang siya ay kunin papunta sa langit na hindi pa katagalan dito sa pangyayaring ito. Sabi nga nun, verse 23, So they nominated, sabi po nga nun, two men, Joseph called Barsabas, also known as Justus, and Matthias, ito na po yun, ano, and Matthias, then they all prayed. O Lord, you know every heart. Alam mo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng puso. Show us which of these men you have chosen. Ipakita mo sa amin, Panginoon, kung sino sa dalawang ito ang pinili mo. Sabi po gano'n, 25. As an apostle to replace Judas in this ministry, for he has deserted us and gone where he belong. Yung papalit po nila kay Judas Iscariot. 26. Then they cast lots. Ano po? Nag-cast lots sila. Parang ano po ito? Uh, parang dice. Ano po? Then they cast lots and Matthias was selected to become an apostle with the other 11. So, bago ko po ituloy yung, yung discussion, gusto ko pong banggitin lang yung pong casting lots. Ang sabi pong ganun, sila po ay nag-cast lots uh, para piliin kung sino yung lalabas. Kasi po yung minsan yung cast lots, uh, mayroon pong bato, nilalagay nila ng pangalan, nilalagay nila sa may parang garapon, and then inaalog nila at kung sino yung makuha nilang pangalan, yun po ang uh, winner. Parang gano'n, yun po ang winner. But, uh, casting lots, yung pong casting lots, is mentioned in the Old Testament about 70 times. Ano, magmula dun sa Book of Numbers, sa Book of Joshua, sa Chronicles, even dun sa Book of Jonah. Ano po, 
So, although na yung pong pamamaraan ng pagpili na yun ay hindi talaga a- a- alam yung kanya kung paano ginagawa at kung saan ito nag- nagsimula. And yet, uh, it was honored back then. It was honored back then sa mga pagpili na ginagawa nila. So, 70 times sa Old Testament. And then, in the New Testament, it was mentioned yung pong casting lots seven times. Ano po, kung matatandaan po ninyo yung, yung damit ng Panginoon o yung balabal niya dun sa krus, yung pong mga sundalo, they cast lots kung kanino mapupunta yung balabal. And yet, dito po sa may Acts chapter 1 verse 26, ang sabi pong ganun, Then the disciples cast lots and Matthias was selected to become an apostle with the other 11. So, napili po nila dun sa casting lots si Matthias. This is the last time na binanggit sa Bible yung pong casting lots, ano yung pong pag, uh, pagpili sa pamamagitan nung pinaparal para parang uh, uh, parang pagro-roll lang dice. Ano po dito po yung last kasi po nung dumating na po yung Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit came, the Holy Spirit became their guide. Ano po? And then we also have the written word of God and then they prayed plus the Holy Spirit guiding them and it is enough to give them discernment in choosing or making a major decision. Ulitin ko po, no? We, they have the Word of God, they prayed, and then they are guided now by the Holy Spirit. So, wala na po yung kinakalog na dice o yung kinakalog na casting lots para sa mga pagpili. So, pinaliwalag ko lang po sa inyo yun. Uh, itin, hindi na po natin makikita sa Bible pagkatapos dito sa may Acts chapter 1, verse 26. So, pinili po nila yung si Matayas and it's so exciting ano po na nang pinili nila si Matayas they are not choosing they are not just choosing a church leader ano po yung pong yung pong uh, katungkulan o yung pong posisyon na ibibigay o i-reward sa kay Matayas ay magiging isa siya dun sa labing dalawang original na apostle the 12 apostle he will be the 12 apostle ano po, ayun yun, makikita po ninyo dito ang kagandahan po na gusto kong makita natin tonight sa gabing ito. Si Matayas na pinili at binigyan na isang napakalaking reward. is a very unique reward. Ano po, ang sabi po sa may look, tignan po ninyo yung how privileged and how prominent ano po, na napakatangi-tangi yung reward na, na na ibinigay ng Diyos kay Matayas ay uh, tingnan po ninyo ang sabi ng Panginoong Hesus sa may Luke 22 uh, 28 to 30 regarding the 12 disciples ano po yung 12 the, the, the 12 apostles uh, siya nga pala ang ang ibig pampinagkaiba po ng apostles sa disciples yung pong apostles ang ibig sabihin sent out yung pong mga apostol ang ibig sabihin ng salitang apostol ay yung pong ipinadala o ipinadala sa malayong lugar ano po yung po yung po yun samantalang yung disciple lang ibig po sabihin noon mga estudyante o tagasunod ng Panginoon so yung 12 po ay sent out yung disciple means students of the Lord or students of the Bible so tingnan po ninyo sa Luke 22 ito po yung sabi sa kanila ng Panginoon again you can say faithfulness again here sabi po sa 28 you have stayed uh, with me in my time of trials ang sabi ng Panginoon ang kausap niya yung mga disciple itong mga apostles niya you have stayed with me in my time of temptation or my time of trial and just as my father has granted me a kingdom I now grant you tingnan po ninyo kung ano yung pinagkakalob niya doon sa kanyang mga disciple I now grant you the right to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and you will sit on throne sila po ay uupo sa trono judging the 12 tribes of Israel can you imagine that in the in the kingdom of God they will be judges and judging the 12 tribes of Israel and then ang sabi po doon sa may uh, revelations 21 verse 14 ano po I'm, I'm just telling you the rewards ano po na nakuha ni Matthias and then I will go back to him revelations 21 verse 14 ang sabi po ganoon ah uh, The wall of the city had 12 foundations and this is the, the new Jerusalem. Ano po, dito yung sa na na makikita natin na ibababa na magkakaroon ng uh, bagong Jerusalem na kung saan tayo mga born again, tayo mga Kristiyanong na rapture o namatay na mapupunta sa langit, dito po tayo mapupunta uh, one of this uh, one of these days at naniniwala po ko it is not long that this thing we're going to be 
in fulfillment. Ano po magiging katotohanan? Sabi po sa may Revelations 21 o pahayag 21.14, the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Yung pong uh, pan- dingding o yung pong pader ng, uh, ng syudad ay meron labing dalawang foundation. And on them were the names of the 12 apostles. Can you imagine yan? Yung pong pangalan ng bawat isang pundasyon o yung pilar doon sa syudad na yun ay may pangalan nila Pedro, nila Matthew, nila uh, nila Bartolomeo, nila Nathaniel, nila Philip, ano po, and, and, and sina Andrew at yung pong 11, and then the la and the 12 ay yung pong pangalan ni Matayas. Hindi po ba sabihin ganun? The, on them were the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. So, so you see, uh, the reward that was given to Matthias was so prominent and was so great. Ano po? Samantalang, kung, pag-a- kung pag-aaralan po natin yung binasa natin sa may Acts chapter 1 to 26, Matthias did not do anything. Ano po? He did not preach. He did not write a book. He is not a leader in, in, in that group or in that church. But Matthias was faithful. Ang sabi nga nun, he was with us from the beginning. Siya kasama na natin sa simula pa lang. So makikita po ninyo, our faithfulness is being noticed by God. Ano po? We become, we, we uh, yung ating kagiging matapat, loyal at, at consistent o yung pong uh, panagi ang pagiging matapat sa Diyos ay napapansin po yun ng Diyos. Although na si Matthias did not, uh, uh, did not do at things katulad nila Peter, ano po, nila Matthew, nila, nila John, na nakita nila yung Panginoon, and yet he was just there. Ang sabi ko nga he was with us the entire time from the baptism of Jesus by John up to the time that he was taken up to heaven in that ascension we found in Acts chapter 1. So, uh, makikita po natin na in our life, ano, sometimes uh, we give up on our faith right side up, ano, na uh, uh, sometimes the Christian life is not always uh, 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 what do you call this? It's not always uh, a sunny yung, yung pong ma, maaraw na o masiyahin o, ma, o napakagandang uh, mga uh, pagkakataon na sumunod sa Panginoon. Sometimes our Christian life becomes stormy. May mga pagsubok po. May mga time na tayo ay tinatalikuran ng ating mga mahal sa buhay. Tayo po ay uh, 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 sinisiraan ng ating kapwa, tayo po'y dumaranas ng marami mga pagsubok, and yet, through all of those things, ano po, we can determine to be faithful to God in spite, in spite of all the bad things and the and the ugly things that happens in our life and in the circle of our friends or within our family or within our church. And But but we can see in the life of Matthias, ang sabi pa ganun, he was with us, andun lang siya. Ano po, tapat siya, tapat siya sa, sa pagsama sa Panginoon at nakita niya yung kabutihan ng Panginoon in so many ways. Alam po ninyo, meron pong kakaibigan. There is a big difference between uh, uh, an experience and, uh, and an argument. Ano po, si Matayas po, kung tatanungin mo niya, tatanungin mo na uh, uh, bakit siya naging tapat because he saw everything that Jesus Christ did. Narinig po niya lahat ng mga tinuro ng Panginoon at kung tatanungin mo na, uh, I was there. No? When Jesus Christ raised the dead, I was there. When Jesus Christ fed the 5,000 and the 4,000, I was there. No, no. When Jesus Christ healed the sick, when Jesus Christ opened the eyes of the blind and he, then He made the crippled to walk, and all of those miracles that Jesus Christ did, Matthias can says, I was there. Ano, andun lang po ako. Ano po, and, and I remember this, ano po, uh, when we were just starting our Bible study in Manila, mga estudyante pa kami at that time, mga estudyante pa kami at that time, ano po, we are so hungry for God and we are so much excited just to be in, in the presence of the Lord and then in the presence of one another that uh, we are... We, I'm not a leader at the time. I'm not a pastor at the time. I'm not even a song leader. I'm not even a Sunday school teacher. I have nobody, but I always stay doon po sa church. And I, I can't remember I missed a church meeting. Ano po? And I can tell you that, ano po? and God knows what I'm talking to you, that I am not lying. During uh, years and years when we, uh, we were starting as born as Christians, I never missed a Bible study. I was always this. Baha! 
uh, kumikidlat, bumabagyo doon sa Manila, sa may Sampaloc, and yet, I make, I make a determination that kung Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday, I will be in the Bible study. And I was thinking, I was studying, and this is, this is what Matayas did. Ano po? Wala siyang, wala siyang titulo. Wala siyang ginawa na nakita natin na nakarecord sa Bible, and yet he was just there, being faithful, being close, and being intimate with the Lord Jesus Christ. So he can say with a smile, I was there. Ano po, I was there. You can argue all all you want, ano? Na si Jesus Christ ay ganito lang, si Jesus Christ hindi niya ginawa yun, hindi nangyari yun. But I can tell you, sasabihin ni Matayo sa'yo, I was there. I saw it. I touched him. I ate with him. I slept with him. Can you imagine that? Ano po, yun po yung sa Mataya. So when the time came na kinakailangan na siyang i-promote ng Panginoon, ano po, kinakailangan na siya i-reward ng Panginoon. And that, and in Acts chapter 1, nasabi pong ganun, the lot fell on Matthias and he was chosen as a replacement of Judas Iscariot and he became one of the twelve. So when we go to heaven, you and I, when we go to heaven, we will see Matthias. Ano po? It was not even Saint Paul. Ano po? Hindi, hindi, hindi si Saint Paul ang naging kaplit. Dahil wala pa po siya dito at hindi po siya at, uh, according to sa kanilang requirement na, na, na ipapalit, kinakailangan eyewitness ng resurrection ni Jesus Christ. And at that time, wala pa si Paul dito sa senaryo na ito ng, ng, mga, ng mga believers. Ano po? So, uh, God saw faithfulness, God saw loyalty, and God saw consistency. Ano po? Alam ko may mga lockdown, alam ko mayroong mga ganyan. But we can always be consistent in our faithfulness to God regardless. No? Sometimes you feel that God is so close to you. Ano po, you can always feel, you can have goosebumps or you can feel that the presence is very strong God. But there are times and a lot of times in our life that sometimes we don't feel that God is even close or near. Or we don't even feel that God is hearing our prayers. But regardless of our feelings, we do not live by feelings, regardless of what, what, what we're going through or how we feel, God is always there. And if we are always, and if He is always there, we can always be there also where He is. Ano po, nandun ka pa lagi sa ano, wala man lang, wala man action na nanggagaling. I know, kaya nga po yung sabi ng Panginoon, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So, yung may mga tao, pag maraming attendance, tsaka lang uma-attend. Pag kukunti, sabi nila, ay kukunti lang pala, hindi na ako a-attend. No! Even if it is just you and the pastor, when the pastor called for a meeting, if it is just you who are in attendance, just be there. Just be there. Kahit na ikaw lang, kahit na, kahit na yung assistant ng pastor ay, ay absent. Yung mga leaders na, na may mga katungkulan sa church ay absent. Ikaw, wala ka namang katungkulan. Kung nagpatawag ng meeting, just be there. Ano po, kahit na kayong dalawa lang yung pastor, o minsan kahit na yung pastor ay late, just be there on time. And that is what? That is loyalty, consistency, and faithfulness to God, not to human being. Ang katapatan mo ay hindi sa tao. Kaya kahit na nalilate yung pastor, ikaw ay hindi gagaya doon. Mauna ka at nasa on, na on time ka dahil ang katapatan mo ay nasa Panginoon. And when God sees that, God will reward you big time. He will reward you in ways that you can never imagine. Ano po? And that's what we're talking about. Ano po dito kay Matayas? Uh, Faithfulness can be developed. Nadidevelop po yun. Yung, yung ating uh, pananampalataya ay napapaunlad po yun. Tignan po niya, unang-una, spend time in the Word of God. Dito po, spend time in the Word of God. Ano? Keep on reading it. Even there are times that you cannot understand what you are reading. Keep on reading until you understand what you are reading until you get what God wants you to get doon sa salita niya. Just, just, just keep on reading and then you will develop your faith. Study it, not only read it, study the Word of God. Ano po? Memorize the Word of God and then meditate on the Word of God. So, and then your faith and then your faithfulness will grow as you do that. Pangalawa, spend time in prayer. No? By, uh, yung, 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 yung quiet time by yourself and then uh, corporate prayer or you have a prayer uh, group and then just just be faithful to that. Just be in there. Katulad dito sa amin sa Jacksonville, Tuesday night is our Zoom prayer and there are people, they don't even uh, uh, 
pray, but they are just there agreeing with our prayer. Ano po sa mga nagpe-pray? And God sees that. And that's a faithfulness. Tapos po ganun. And then the, the third thing that you need to do to develop your faithfulness is what? Get involved in the church. Now in the Philippines, I'm, I'm hearing now good news in the Philippines that, that little by little ay bumababa na yung COVID at bumabalik na yung mga tao sa churches. So if you are a Christian, regardless of uh, how long you've been a Christian or how you know uh, how early you, you, are, you are just in your faith, Uh, get involved in the church na hindi lang tiga attend just just involve yourself ano po marami doon na mga magagawa marami kang may tutulong doon ano po uh, uh, god ordained the church we are a body a family an army nowhere does it say that we are long ranger wala pong kristiyanong long ranger no you have to belong in the church not only by at by uh, for attendance sake but be involved but may involved ka eh, ano sasabihin ko na po sa inyo, no? isingit mo yung sarili mo. Saan ba ako makakatulong dito? Sa children ministry, music ministry, o sa, sa feeding ministry, o kahit na sa paglilinis lang ng church at pag-aayos ng mga silya at ng mga kagamitan doon. It's so right with me because why? I just want to be there because God is in that place. Andun sa sun sa may samahan ng mga mananampalataya. And then the next thing to develop your, faithful, your faithfulness, share what God is doing in your life. God is so good in your life. Ano po, napaka, napaka buti niya sa'yo. Can you, ima- can you imagine, uh, or if, if you will just count your blessing, it will outnumber yung mga hindi magagandang nangyari sa buhay mo. So share what God is doing in your life to other people. And then the, 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 the next thing to develop your faithfulness is give. Ito na po yun. Give consistently to the Lord's work. Yung pong giving. Ano po yung pong giving? Dito po maraming umaalis sa church. Kapag ka pinag-usapan na ay giving. Ano po? But in the end yet, uh, that is a part of us that should be a part of our offering or of, of our dedication to God. So, God doesn't choose on the basis of looks, talent, ability, but on faithfulness like Matthias. He was just there. Ano po, narinig lang natin yung pangalan niya sa Acts chapter 1, verse 23 at saka 26. After that, wala na. And yet, Matthias has a very good place in heaven. He will be one of the foundations when we see that new city of Jerusalem. Why? Because of his faithfulness. Andun lang siya palagi. Hindi siya nawawala. Napapansin o hindi napapansin. Begin, uh, uh, meron siyang titulo o na posisyon. He is. He, he, he just need to be there. Ano po? Uh, malapit nang bumalik ang Panginoon. Ano po? Malapit nang bumalik ang Panginoon. And when He comes back, I'm pretty sure, ano po, He will reward you and me according to our faithfulness. Ano po? Our faithfulness. Uh, sabi po dito na, uh, Why, why rewards are important? You know, bibigyan ko lang po kayo ng madalian. Bakit po mahalaga yung mga rewards? Unang-una, rewards show the reality of our, of our sonship, yung pagiging anak natin ng Diyos. That's why reward, it reminds us na yung pong, yung pong katotonahanan na, nga ta, na tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. Look at Galatians 4.7. Sabi po sa Galatians 4.7, Now you are no longer a slave. but God's own child. Ang ganda, no po? Galatians po 7, Now you are no longer a slave. Hindi ka naalipin, but God's own child. Anak ka na ng Diyos. And since you are His child, God has made you an heir. Sige niya po niya yung reward. Ginawa niya ikaw at ako na tagapagmana kasama ng Panginoong Isus. So reward show the reality of us being a child of God. Pangalawa, reward shows us that God is just. na ang Diyos ay makatarungan. Ano po? Na ang Diyos ay tapat. Tignan po sa Hebrews 6.10. Sa New, New Hebrews 6.10, For God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked. Hindi niya kakalimutan kung gano'y mga ginawa mo para sa Kanya, for Him, and how you have shown your love to Him by caring for other believers as you still do. Hindi niya kakalimutan yung mga ginagawa mong pagmamahal at uh, uh, mga pagsis- pagsusumikap. para sa kalwalatian ng Panginoon. That's in found in Hebrews 6.10. Then, 
Now, rewards will fulfill the law of sowing and reaping. Makikita rin po natin na kung, kung ano ang iyong uh, hinasik, yun ang iyong aanihin. Tingnan po ninyo yung Galatians 6, 7 to 9. Don't be misled. Galatians 6, 7 to 9. Don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest. Ayun po yung harvest. Yun po yun yung reward. You will, ha you will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired. Wag daw, wag daw po tayo mahapo o mapagod in doing what is good sa paggawa ng mabuti because at just at the right time, sa, ta sa tamang panahon, we will reap a reward or a harvest If we don't give up, so never give up on your Christian faith. I don't know what you're going through, but what I can what what I can tell you tonight, and God is telling you tonight, is that stay there, be just, just stay there and be painful to God, regardless of what's going on. Everything works together for good to those who love God. So, sabi ni ganon, at just the right time we will reap a harvest of blessing. Tingin niyo, it's not just one piece here, two pieces, a harvest of reward for being faithful to God if we don't give up. And then in in uh, in 1 Corinthians 15:58 I'm about to finish. Uh, this is reward show our labor was not in vain. Tingnan po niyo no, yung pong reward ay nagpapakita sa atin na ang ating pag uh, uh, pagsusumikap sa Panginoon, yung ating pong gawain sa Panginoon ay hindi walang kabuluhan. Tingnan po niyo 1 Corinthians 15:58. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Magpakalakas kayo at hindi natitinag. Always work enthusiastically. Lagi kayong magtrabaho para sa Panginoon o gumawa sa Panginoon na may kaganakan. Hindi yung nakabugnot yung muka, naiinis, nasusuya, o hindi no. You, sabi nga nun, always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Wala kang ginagawa kahit maliit, malaki o nandoon ka lang para sa Panginoon na walang kabuluhan. God notices that. notice ng Panginoon yung nandung ka lang. Ano po? Dahil, minsan, sometimes your presence, just your presence in a, 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 in a gathering encourages others. Ano po? Uh, and then, we should live right. Now, knowing now that the Lord is coming so soon, we need to live what? In purity and holiness. It matters because we will one day stand in front of Jesus. Now, in the Bible, meron pong binabanggit na Bema, uh, judgment seat of Christ. We will not be judged to go to hell, but as believers, ang judgment po natin is a time of being rewarded. Dalagyan po tayo ng mga corona ng Panginoon sa ating mga katapatan. Marami pong corona yon. And then, yung mga corona na yon, yung mga reward na yon, it varies. Ano po, marami kasi meron pong mga Kristiyano na na uh, hiatag ito na naglilingkod pero in a selfish way hindi para luwalatiin ng Panginoon but on and on that's a different subject but anyway when we get when when we see the Lord when we get to heaven we will be rewarded individually ano po hindi by group hindi by family hindi by cell group kundi individually ano po be like Matthias and I will end this with this ano po be like Matthias and he was just there with the disciples the entire time That when Jesus Christ was baptized and when he was taken to heaven, he was just there. He, his name is not so famous. Like again, he didn't wrote any book. He didn't, uh, he didn't pastor a big church or a small church. But the thing about Matthias, he was just there being loyal, consistent, and faithful. Alam po ninyo, and I will end with this. The sweetest thing that we can hear from the Lord when we see Him face to face, either when we die or when we are taken by rapture. Ano, dalawa, dalawa po kasi paraan yung para makita natin ng Panginoon. Sometimes we don't like to die, but sometimes or most of the time, dying is the only way to see God or to be with God. And the other thing is through the rapture, where God will just sound the trumpet and boom, in a moment of, in the twinkling of an eye, in a moment, God will take us sa Kanya. Ano po? And I, I, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody in you is uh, is posting that. This is the sweetest thing. Thank you, Irans. This is the sweetest words that we can hear from the Lord Jesus Christ when we see Him. Ano po? Well done, 
my good and faithful servant. Ano, tingnan po na nyo, no? Well done. Sabi po ganun, my good and faithful servant. Hindi po niya sinabi na ikaw ay pastor, ikaw ay missionary, ikaw ay song leader, ikaw ay treasurer, ikaw ay sekretary ng church, ang dami niyong, ang dami niyong members, libo libo lang, none of those. Ang sabi niya, welcome. Sabi niya ganun. Come. Ang sabi niya ganun. Well done, good and faithful servant. So, regardless of what's going on in your life, I will repeat again, remain faithful to Him because He is faithful to you. And the one thing I'm gonna share again is be involved in the church. Involve yourself. No, not only just a member of it, not just only an attender, but be involved. I know? In, my, in, in my experience, I approached the pastor. I told the pastor, what can I do here? In your small church, what can I do here? Ang sabi niya sa akin, pag linggo, magbantay ka sa pintuan ng mga pumapasok. I was an asher. Ano po, tagabati lang ako ng mga taong dum, uh, dumadating na umaatin ng church and I was so happy about that. And then, on and on, nakita ko yung mga rewards ng Panginoon sa buhay ko and sa life ko. And that's why I'm so happy. Every every time I teach the Bible study, I'm excited. And I'm excited because you are also there uh, tuning in and watching and joining and uh, developing your faithfulness through a Bible study like this. Let me pray. God bless you all. God keep you all. And those of you are who are feeling weak in the body, I feel healing. Those of you are lacking in finances, I pray for God's uh, divine provision. Those of you are going through a uh, family uh, uh, troubles or family episodes, I pray that God will intervene. And I pray if you are not a Christian right now, you are not a believer but you're watching me, I pray I uh, ask the Lord to come into your heart. Ask the Lord and repent of your sins. Tell Him, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me from all my sins. And I accept you in my heart, Lord, and I'm confessing it with my mouth right now where I am that you are my Lord and my Savior. And from now on, until the time that you, you, you take me, I want to serve you. And like Matthias, I want to be faithful to you. God bless you all and God keep you all safe and thank God that He is good and faithful to all of us. See you again next week. Remember to visit our website, uh, thepilipinofamilygathering.com uh, and also in YouTube. You can watch this again in YouTube or uh, share it to your friends in YouTube. Uh, typed in uh, Filipino Family Gathering International Ministry and also here you can share this to all your friends in pay, uh, in Facebook so that you in, in, in a way is sharing the gospel to, to, to somebody that you want to see in heaven. God bless you. God thank you so much and for those of you uh, uh, who's helping me uh, put up the verses, thank you and for those of you who are sharing it to your friends, thank you so much. See you next week. God keep you safe and everyone in your house. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless Pop.